Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shen Chen IO. We are taking the meat meat based printer next. Sounds well kind of disgusting. <laughs> the increase in extreme weather events across the globe has resulted in the need for innovations in fuel security. Recent advances in nutritional technology have allowed for a variety of meat like products to be assembled out of a common substrate. A portable meat production station could be an effective solution in the recovery, recovery period after initial emergency supplies have been used. I have sourced some initial meat product designs that we can use to get started. Not sure I'd put the stuff in my mouth, no matter how dire the emergency. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we need to do? Keypad is an Xbox input connected to a keypad. That makes sense. Extrude is a simple output connected to a meat extruder. Okay, valve 0 through valve 2 are simple outputs connected to valves in the meat extruder that control whether lean mix low or fat mix high is extruded. Um, Alright, when a val value is available from the keypad, read it and assemble the corresponding meat specification. Sounds really disgusting. Which I found on the page in the supplemental data section. Oh, I don't have that open. I always forget opening that now, because I don't need it as often anymore really bad uh, the assembled meat primer <laughs> Ugh. now that you have your meat assembler up and running it's time to put the device for its paces you'll find as many have that assembled meat isn't just a convenient cost-effective solution for a commercial dining facility it can also be a versatile culinary tool in the hand of an experienced operator Use the meat patterns below to get started with some familiar servings. Don't be afraid to experiment, however. Okay, this is weird. I assume we want something like this again, because we almost always want <laughs> something like this. And then I guess this would make sense, and this. I don't know, we'll see. Um, all right, so there's the three different styles. One means you want a cutlet style meat, two steak, and three baking style meat. It's baking style meat just sounds so wrong somehow. All right, and for the cutlet style meat, what do we have? Okay, so the, the mixes are the lean mix is 95% lean and 5% fat, and the fat mix is 20% lean, 80% fat. A traditional cutlet of meat with fat around the edges that will crisp nicely when broiled. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait. So how? What? What are these patterns? Oh, okay. It's like so. Valve zero is off, on, off, on. I guess. Oh no. It's like. Oh, okay. Now I get it. It's. It's fat, lean, fat, lean, fat, lean, fat. Okay. 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 On valve zero. And wait. Fat mix is high, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have basically on, off, on, off, on, off, on. Valve one is fat and then five lean and then fat again. So it's on, off, 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 off on. That was probably too many offs. Uh, and then the other, then valve two is the same as valve zero. Yes, okay. Okay, so... Ugh. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be... Hmm. I might need some memory. Just to store, I could use a read-only memory to store the patterns. Um, yeah, that's actually a smart move. Is this a read-only one? Yeah, it is. So the f like this is one, one, one. All of them on is the first, and then all of them off is the second. It's a zero, and then it's on, off, on. On, on, on. Oh, no, 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 off, off, off. 
on off on off 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 on 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 so that, that would be the first style of meat and then the second one i don't know if i want to save it actually <laughs> is uh, 0, 10, 10, 0, 10, 10, 0. So that's the steak style meat. I think I have that right. And then the bacon style meat is just... It doesn't have a pattern. Bacon style meat is, is free, right? Yeah, so that's very easy to do because it's just off, on, on. So we probably don't need a memory for that, I would say. Um, hooking this up is gonna be a pain. I guess we just do it like this. Yeah, it's not gonna be a pain actually. So basically what I wanna do is if X2 Oh, I want to sleep probably. And if I get a value from X2, um, do I do I need to save it? I probably don't. I just test. If it's a one, then I just start sending stuff. And I loop that. I forgot about the extrude bit, but that's fine. I think, I hope. Uh, okay. And obviously if the pointer reaches What is half? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we, we break the loop and wait for the next input. And actually we wanna do if this is two, then I wanna actually move uh, Eight to this. Uh, it's going to be tricky to count. Yeah, how do I keep track of where I am once again is the, the tricky part. Because now I'm not always starting at zero. I might be starting at eight and then I want to not, obviously not break at eight. I'm going to break at uh, this. We could just use act to count again. I'm not sure how I want to do this actually. Um, so you would want like a Move a seven into egg, and then after we sleep, we sub one or whatever. And if egg is zero, we go here and we move. This here, and we move. here and 
I guess you also send uh, this. everything except for the bacon, which I don't know if I can actually make that work. <laughs> it does some things, right? <laughs> Not a lot of them, unfortunately. Is this just a stupid off by one that I always do? Yeah. It does everything except for the bacon. How do I do the bacon? <laughs> bacon is just off on 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 everything. Hmm. So 11, 11, 11, and that, what? How many times? Eight times? <laughs> Seven times? How many are there? I, don't, I keep keep losing track. Seven times. Seven times. So you just send eleven seven times. Well, I don't know how to do that actually. I mean, I like I like this. Kinda. It's not super like impressive, but it work. It works. Um, that I don't really know. We'd have to save these values into like that before we send them or something. Uh, but I can't get an 11 from anywhere. Because instead of this, it would need move 11 to x3. And I can't get that 11 from anywhere because we don't have any 11s. Hmm. Can I make 11s? <laughs> make everything an 11 before you send it. Because everything else would still be fine. We still want to counter and subtract one until we hit zero and then we reset everything. That, would, that, that stuff, we still want all of that. Just instead of this line, we want to send 11, which would be two lines added because we need to test if it's free and then if it is free, send 11, otherwise send this. I just don't think I can do it. Well, I can get one line back, I think, if I do... All of these up here. Get rid of this. Not this, this. 
add some pluses here. And put the sleep down here. Oh, and then I guess we need to, you know, this is gonna break things, right? Yeah. This needs to be after the sleep. Getting close, not quite enough. For that, come on. <laughs> I could do um, a test compares for two, and if it is. Pluses and minuses when it's two. So I would remove this one here, and then I would have. Great, and. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if I can make that work with a compares. I don't think so, but I'm not super sure. If I test compare x2 to two, if it's greater than. Then it's a three, and we'll do the plus instruction. So we could put a plus in front of this. The problem with this is that it would also. I mean, I can't really do anything. I would need another line again. Because now I'm always doing the seven. What if I, why do I subtract? Why don't I just add? That's much easier. <laughs> and then we don't test for zero, we test for seven. Does this work? I'm not sure. No. Something breaks. I'm not resetting act now. That's that's the problem, right? That's why that was used for. It made sense. I need. I need. I need the loop over egg. I need to count up with egg because I can't just look at the thing, right? Or I can look at if I do Just not do anything after the first one. <laughs> I'm confused. We are at eight, so we send zeros everywhere. And 
be sleep. Get an input. It's not a two. Send a seven right here, it doesn't matter. We send a hundred to people and that is right. We move X0 to X3, which is uh, whatever. The first value of that, that makes sense, that's fine. But you're also sending an 11 there, because that's what we want. I think, yeah. <laughs> we test if it is eight. It actually is eight. Yeah, no, we can't. Let me turn everything off. I have to move this. I still can test for the second condition though, if it's um, like the last, if it's 14 or whatever. Because I can't do both, right? but not quite there yet. I'm not sure if this is possible like that. I can't reset X. Set act down here somewhere and I can't. Or up here, doesn't matter. Okay, we have this one twice. That is definitely stupid. because you're never getting the positive again after this. God. <laughs> um. You need to turn this into a positive test resort. By changing this test from, is it seven to, is it greater than Lower than if it's lower than seven, and if it's not, do these things maybe? No, Ugh. I'm adding up now. Uh, greater than no. Ah, what do I do here? Wait, 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 wait. Let me think this through. I, I feel like there's a way to do this. Let's set, set, let, yeah, let's reset this. What, wait, wait, okay. <laughs> take it easy, take it easy, Clover. So the thing is that this does only run the first time and then it does not because this has a negative outcome. So this doesn't run. So we need to uh, we 
we need to do, what do we need to do? We need to change this around. Instead of equals seven, we want it to be Why, why not greater than? Why does it wait? <laughs> if it's greater than. No, no, no. Lower than. If it's lower than 7, then loop. Otherwise, do these things. Right? Why not? Why does that break? Seven, it is. So sleep, add one. Jump to loop. Send a hundred. Send a zero. Oh, but now it sends the eleven on. Yeah. Ah, no. <laughs> no. I can't do it like this at all. baking here. I thought I could, but I can't do it like this. This is a flawed attempt, most likely. I don't think I can save it. use this pin <laughs> to do something stupid maybe how is it connected to itself oh it's connected to this and this I guess I guess it's, that's true <laughs> but I can't I don't even know if this makes sense to even attempt this like that. Yeah, no, I don't think I can make that work. this <laughs> can't quite do it um This doesn't technically need to be in a loop. I mean, that doesn't do anything, but it doesn't need to be in a loop, right? Saving power here on a solution that doesn't work. Ah, man. How do I get the 11s in there? Ah, 
I don't think I can. I hate this. I really do. I mean, you could add another thing. That just does that, maybe? something like this work I would have to just skip everything here if if the input is free I could totally do that all oh, right here even happy with this but it might be what I need to do here oh actually can I even get the input on both does this work <laughs> I'm not sure if that get, goes away or if it goes to both I'm not sure what the behavior is I might not be able to do this like like this I want to do it like this but I'm not sure if I can So do I just not get it then? That really sucks if that's what it is. Like does it just not get there? Is that what's happening? Like the value is just gone? So I wake up but I can't actually compare it because it's gone? Ah, that sucks if that's the case. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Why? Why doesn't it work like that? It should work like that. Why? Like if I just... Why does the input just go away? <laughs> if I, if there are more... Uh, things connected to it. It's annoying. can I do? That means in order to utilize this 
controller would have to send something from here to there when this is a free, which I can't really do because I'm out of lines. That's just, I am sure there's a much more elegant way to solve this problem, but I can't think of it right now. And I'm really stuck on this, like two solutions are here and then the third one I just have to somehow do. But I, I can't, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. idea was to use this uh, pin to get a parse to here and here and here basically and just do it with a Chen like Chen P0 um, 106 or whatever no what is it 6 0 I'm never sure yeah no 7 0 I guess and I would have turned all of these on but I can't connect this pin to these two valves at all basically because there's no way to connect anything to this valve that doesn't or like I, it or, or pretend Pretend. It was game that it connects to itself then, uh, and that, that's no good, obviously. So I don't know how to get the how to get the bacon. That's the most important meat <laughs> there is. How do I get that? Have to be within the loop. If I save the keypad input into that, then I could compare it later. Uh, obviously, obviously, this would theoretically. I can't talk anymore. This would theoretically help with the loop, but. Because I can just test within the loop if it's free, and then always just do that. But I hate, I hate that idea too. Mm. And since I'm getting these values from from the from the memory, I can't just I can't use that either. I mean, I could make. Maybe, wait, no, that wouldn't make sense. I could save x0 into that, I guess, before I send it. But then I would also still have to test if I'm setting bacon, which I have no way of doing here. I, I, I mean, there are ways I could do it with more lines, for sure. Like I could, instead of jump, jump end here, I could have move 11 into that, and I could test if that is 11, and if it is, send that instead, basically. I would also have to reset that then, which is not, it's not nothing is a good solution here. <laughs> but what can you do? That would work. I, I just need like six more lines or whatever, stupid like that. Maybe not six, I was exaggerated, but yeah. Definitely I cannot do it in one, which is what I have. Ah, what am I missing? Okay, the sleeping for the input definitely makes sense, I would say. And then once I get one, I test if it, I compare it to two, which means I'll put a seven in and if it's 
lower than two, so if it's a one, I put zero in, so I can start here. And if it's greater than two, it's a three, so I go do something else, which I can't really, I can't do. <laughs> I hate it. Then I turn on this, then I start a loop by sending over my inputs from my memory to the output here. I test if I'm already done, which I'm not in this case. And the test is really weird now, but whatever. <laughs> I jump to the loop. Uh, actually, this could be back into an equals, right? Should make it less weird. If it is seven already, we've done seven cents. We're done, then we turn everything off, sleep. There you go. I'm not sure what I did wrong. There we go. That is nice. That is a nice, clean, whatever, but I can't do it for bacon. How do I make bacon? Tell me how to make bacon, game. What, what am I doing wrong? In my loop, I'm always sending this value, and I can't do that. So I would have to save that value into that. Uh, I hate that though. I hate everything. Ah, I would still have to loop over it. That would be too many lines. Ah, I hate this. Come on. I have a weird idea to save some lines, <laughs> and it's probably not worth it. But I want to do. I want. I want to give it a shot. I like that. <laughs> it's weird, but it works. So I guess can't complain about it too much. So this wakes up, but it doesn't read the value, so it doesn't do anything. But once there is a value, it wakes up and it just turns this on for seven. <laughs> which means I have two more lines to work with up here now, which means maybe somehow I can make the stupid bacon work. I still don't know how though. Like this, I guess. That's not a shape. Almost. If you do this outside the loop, uh, what am I doing? What? I'm, I'm not surprised it doesn't work, 
Really? I'm just surprised that this is happening. I'm reading an extra value, is that well? Yeah, I'm reading an extra value here. Why? Oh, I'm reading an extra value here too, but it's a zero, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, uh. Well. It's stupid, but it works, so maybe it's not really stupid. It's not really stupid. I'm gonna go with it's not really stupid. Production cost is low. Power usage is very low. Lines of code is low. I'm happy with this. This is such a weird way to solve this, but I like it. <laughs> you could probably optimize it maybe a little. You know, I don't really see much potential to do so right now. I'm glad we tried to like outsource basically the bacon into an extra controller because that made me think of this for the parse up here. Um, even though it was otherwise a complete failure. <laughs> and I, I'm not sure if I can make this better. Sleep for seven, jump to the end. So zero. No, I think this is good. I'm, I'm just happy. Let's just leave it. I sampled some of the meats from this product and found them all quite delicious. Carl, you should really give it a try. I agree, it's surprisingly better than I expected. <laughs> Make me a fish and chips robots, then we'll, robot, then we'll talk. I mean, surprisingly better than I expected doesn't mean much, because I would expect this to taste like garbage. <laughs> but I don't know, and I don't like David. Of course he likes the stupid meat thing. Oh, and we didn't unlock a new lever, so this might be the last one. So we have, what, five more to go into the main campaign or something? Getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely we're getting there. Uh, new game. Do I even have time for this? Yeah, I have time for this. The episode feels like it's longer than it is. To me at least. Maybe not to you. But to me it feels like I've been recording forever. Um, one, two... Three, four. Okay, Breck is not bad. It's a six, a two, a five, and a red dragon we need to move. Red is one, two. Red is pretty bad. It's covered by two green. Yeah, it's not good. And green is not terrible. Green is only covered by red and green here, but there's a nine here. I'm not sure. Actually, which is the best way to go about this. If we move this one up, we could move the two, which would have this one open. And then we could move this one up, and then we could move the six, and we have one more open. But then we can't move the five or that red dragon. Or we could move the five, but it wouldn't make sense to do it. Not easy. So wait, what was the what was that strategy that I had? Open up that seven. I'm moving this one away. I'm moving the two. I think that's what I said, right? To open up this and then move this one up. So I can move the six. up I can move to five yeah I might have lost this one already which is frustrating <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to find a way to get to one of the ones maybe but I can't can't move this because it's the same color and the red dragon will have to go up here unless I can open up a slot down here 
which I cannot do. If I move this 9 up, I have the 6 here, which means I could move the 5, but then I can't move the Red Dragon because the 9 is here. And I can't move the 6 because there's no 7 other than this one, which already has a 6. Um, which is not really great. And if I move this, I mean, I get this, but there's no point to that, is there? Yeah, I think I lost this one. This this draw this yeah. I'm still looking, but I I doubt if I'll find something. Cause yeah, force you two I can move the four but not the two or the two. <laughs> so that doesn't help. If I move this one up, I can move absolutely nothing, because I can move the three to get to the one. If I move, I need an open slot down here and I can't get it, basically is what it comes down to. I messed that up. And once again, the color distribution is just unfortunate. It happens often, it feels like. There's no point to any of this. Because these twos are really useless, so I can't get to any of the ones. One more. Okay. Uh, okay, green, 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 green is really bad because it's covered by black, black, and red here. Um, black is a little bit better. One, two. Yeah, black is probably the best here, which is not great because red is pretty deeply covered in these two, and even this is not much better. So we should try to get black out of here, um, which would definitely mean we have to get black and green up here, or get open slots for them. It's not gonna be easy. Okay, got that one open, that's nice. And I can actually do this, which is also very nice, because it means we can do this, or we can do, wait, if I do this, right here, and then this, and this, and I can do this, which is a very good move. Excellent, and now uh, well, we have two green dragons open already, which already feels like significant progress, even though it might not be. Need to be careful still. Oh yeah, we definitely need to be careful still. <laughs> this could very well still fall apart. This makes sense to do, I think. Okay, what am I going for here? Green or red? <laughs> I'm not sure now. The thing is green already has one up here. We could move this red one over and we have one, two, three greens exposed and then we just need to get in here. Which you can't totally do. Sweet, okay. That should be a winning position now. slightly annoying to move to the sevens around but there we go 38 wins <laughs> this is such a slow progressing achievement but whatever we're getting there so yeah we have it looks like five more to go of the main campaign I don't know how many more there are after that uh, but yeah we were slowly very slowly getting there probably means you know five more episodes of this, and then who knows? <laughs> I'll probably just keep going right away, I, I think, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like at this point, 
we've learned a lot. I'm definitely much better at dealing with the limitations of the language and the parts we have. Um, I still feel like I'm way too reliant on my initial like idea, on my initial initial um, impulse, whatever you want to call it. If that is good, then I usually do fine. But if that is bad, <laughs> if my first idea does not work out, then I always struggle to break out of that and try and find something new to do. Um, I'd like to change that, but I don't know how. <laughs> I guess the best way would just to be better uh, so that my first idea is always right um that would be <laughs> ideal i guess and that might be, might be the only way to prevent getting stuck um but i've been doing fine um I'm, I'm, I'm happy so far but yeah that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed this and i will see you next time and we tackle the security nightmare which sounds terrible <laughs> bye bye